Hello, this is Russ and Kitty Walden with Father's Heart Ministry, and this is a mantling time for those of you that have graduated from the Prophetic Office course. Kitty has prepared by hand a mantle just for you that we're sending out. And in this class, this rotation, we have 10 mantles that I want to pray over each one. And you, as you listen to this prayer, this prophetic session, you're going to know which mantle applies to you. So Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we bring these mantles before you. They represent the ordination, Father, of your Spirit. Not the ordination of man, but the ordination of God. The ordination of your Spirit. And I know that there's going to be an impartation for every one of these students that's going to make a difference in their life. And this first mantle, I heard the Father say, and this is a little bit different now, this is a helicopter mantle. He said this mantle is like the blades of a helicopter going round and round. That when you put on this mantle, you're going to know it's you because you're going to feel like you're flying. You're going to feel like you are ambulating in the pneuma, that you are traveling in the spirit. And you're going to experience the capability, like Paul said, I've never met you, but I've seen you in the spirit, and I've, I've made an assessment. You're going to be able to go by the spirit of God and make assessments and give accurate exhortation and admonition to peoples that are far off. And your ministry will be typified by that. Ministering to those that are far off, away, ministering to those that you haven't seen face to face. And in the midst of that, God says, I'm going to show you many things. You're going to experience many things with the helicopter mantle that God's giving you today. Thank you, Father. This mantle, the Lord told me this is a mantle that's about wrapping your face in your mantle. There'll be times that you're, you're going to confront Jezebel. You're going to confront the 450 prophets of Baal. And there's going to be times you're going to be on the run and feel like you're the only one left. But remember that the sound of God, the voice of God, was not in the wind or in the earthquake or in the fire, but it was in the still, small voice. And you're going to hear that still, small voice. And literally, I see you wrapping your face in your mantle like the prophet did. And when you wrap your face in this mantle, you're going to hear like Elijah did, what are you doing here, Elijah? And there will be questions that you will ask that you're going to get answers to because you're wrapping your face in your mantle. That's a, a metaphor for wrapping your human spirit in the anointing of the Spirit of God in your life. It's like one man said, I've seen sister so-and-so under the anointing, and I've seen her out from under the anointing. I like her better under the anointing. And the anointing of that is going to bring you into that still, small voice experience from heaven. That's the mantle that's being released to you, and you're going to know it's you when you receive this mantle. Now the Father said this mantle was a parting the waters mantle. You know there are times in the prophetic that you're going to run in to obstacles. And sometimes there's a need to part the waters. My Father, my Father, the chariots of Israel and the horsemen thereof, where is the Lord God of Elijah? Waters in the scripture represent the spirit. They represent doctrine. And there will be times in your ministry you are a prophet, teacher, and there will be times in your ministry you're going to face the waters of the doctrines of men. And you're going to know that there's no talking people out. They've got their mind made up and they don't want to be confused with the facts. 
And the, suddenly that mantle that's upon your life is going to come forth and you're going to smite the waters, not the people. You're going to smite the waters, the doctrines of men with the mantle of God and they're going to part and they're going to stand up and pay deference, not to you as an individual, but pay deference to the anointing that is upon you because you, you'll know it's you, you've received a parting the mantle, the parting the waters mantle from God. This mantle is like the vesture that they took from Jesus in the crucifixion and they were going to tear it in pieces and gamble for it. But it was of such a high quality they said, no, don't, don't do that because it has such a value. We want to keep it in one piece and they're going to, they gamble for the mantle of Jesus. There have been many traditions that have arisen in church history about the robe, the mantle, where it traveled to, the impact it had on people's lives. God says to you, this is an unparted mantle. There will be times that you're going to be come against. There will be times that you're going to be facing forces that are pulling you this way and that, and you don't know who uh, you're going to respond to or who you're going to have to yield to, and the Spirit of God is going to just come upon you and tell you to stand, and yes, when the mantle was unparted, there was a man crucified on the cross, and there is a such thing as carrying your cross. It's not about us receiving suffering that it only belonged to Jesus, but there is a place of standing where you are crucified with Christ, you've accepted the obedience of the cross, you're standing firm, and you're not going to be pulled this way, and you're not going to be pulled that way, but you're going to stand with an unparted mantle that's going to bring a testimony of Jesus, which Revelation 21 tells us is what the prophetic is all about, and that is what is imparted in rest upon this mantle. Now this mantle is a dividing the waters from the waters. Now that's different from the mantle that parted the waters. Sometimes you part the waters, sometimes you divide the waters. The dividing of the waters from the waters was what took place in Genesis in order for dry land to appear and seed fruit harvest begin to take place. And it's all about boundary. You have a prophetic gifting the person who receives this mantle, you have a prophetic gifting about setting boundaries where there have been no boundaries. Uh, bringing borders and boundaries where there's been chaos and confusion and uh, the elimination of boundaries. And every man doing that which is right in his own eyes because there was no hearing prophet, but you're a prophet who hears, you're a prophet who speaks, you're a prophet who will establish boundaries and men will fear to cross the boundaries that God anoints you to establish because this is a dividing the waters from the waters mantle in your life. This mantle is a very special mantle. This is a mantle that's about releasing the virtue. Remember the woman that came to Jesus in the press, the woman with the issue of blood? She broke so many religious protocols to press through to Jesus that she could have been taken out and stoned to death. And there are going to be people that are going to come to you and they're going to break all the religious protocols. They're not going to be welcome in that church and they're not going to be welcome in that place. They're going to be taking great risk to make their way to you and they're going to lay hold on you. At times even physically will touch you. And when that happens, there's going to be a release of virtue. This is a release of virtue mantle. And not the virtue of man, but the virtue of God. Making you a conduit of healing, delivering power out to those who are so desperate that they're willing to, to take a desperate move to put themselves even at risk with great sacrifice to get in your presence not to hear from man, but to receive from Almighty God. And that is the release and the gracelet that sits and flows through the person that receives this mantle.
This mantle is a restoration mantle. You of all people, you feel like maybe you don't belong in this course. You feel like maybe it's just kind of a pipe dream. And you're like the young man when they were taking Jesus away to Pilate's judgment hall. There was a young man that followed afar off and the servants of the high priest and Pilate laid hold on him and to get away and said that he shrugged out of his manual and he fled away naked. And you've been in that position. You've had circumstances in your past that you caved in, you ran, you gave up, you were fearful, and you feel like you lost out. You, you carry shame. But God says, here, I brought your mantle. That which you gave up and ran away from, I'm giving it back to you even now, says the Father. This is a restoration manual, a mantle. I am restoring you, says the Father, to the fullness of your calling. <laughs> this is an aroma of Christ manual. When some people get mantle, when some people get around you, and you're literally wearing this mantle, they're going to smell an aroma. Some people will smell the aroma, like the scripture says, of death unto death. Some people will smell the aroma of life unto life. Some people will come forward and literally they'll smell the rose of Sharon. They will smell perfumes, not just figuratively, although that applies, but literally, there's going to be an aroma. It's going to be like mace. It'll be like pepper spray in the face of those who are not genuine, who are not sincere. And so don't judge yourself by the fact that some people can't get away from you fast enough. But there'll be others that come along and, and literally try and buy this mantle off of you, try and get this mantle away from you, grab hold of it, not want to let it go, want to know where you got it. Not that the mantle isn't magical, but it's like Peter and the... Uh, special miracles that took place that as mantles and cloths were taken from his body the aroma of Christ is going to flow through this mantle and special manifestation of miracles through your life and in your life and through the gifting that God has placed upon you represented by this mantle This mantle is a word of knowledge mantle. And this mantle and the person that receives it, you're going to have a word of knowledge much like William Branham. And the Lord says to you, if you can get the people to believe, nothing shall stand before you, not even cancer. There's a special mantle being given to you today. A mantle of the miraculous. The Old Testament prophetic manifesting the miraculous and the New Testament prophetic manifesting the exposure of the secrets of the hearts of men. Not to vilify or to shame them, but to give them hope. To know that the God who knows what's taking place in their life also is reaching out to them with the salvation of heaven. The salvation of heaven. This is a mantle very much like the mantle Paul wore as a prophet before he became an apostle in Acts 13. And so it's a mantle that's going to take you places. It's a mantle that's going to open doors. You'll go on missionary journeys. You'll go on three great missionary journeys in your lifetime and touch many lives through the power of prophetic evangelism and greatly through the word of knowledge and the miracles that manifest as a result. This is a mantle of turning the hearts of men. You know, the prophetic is all about repentance. So God says, you're going to prophesy the goodness of God. You're going to bring the goodness of God to usurp the religious judgments that people are bound under, struggling under, suffering under, under the brutal, crushing weight of being judged, being kicked to the curb, of being cast away from the, those that won't enter into the kingdom and won't let anybody else enter in. And there have been people that have been pressing their nose against the glass of the things of God for a long time, but they feel disqualified. But the Lord says, through you prophesying the goodness of God and the greatness of God and the plan of God and telling people 
who Jesus is to them and what he's prepared to do, answering those questions that they asked Peter, what does this mean and what must we do? And as you're anointed to answer those questions, there will be a detonation of deliverance, even whole cities coming to Christ through the gifting of God, flowing through you, that this mantle represents. These are the mantles that are being released to you as a graduate of the prophetic office course. And I want to encourage you to make full proof of your ministry. To make full proof of your calling. To make your calling and election sure. Your calling is not sure because of what God's going to do. He's already done that. God says make your calling, make your election sure, go out and be faithful in that which I've called you to do, says the Father. And I will cause the increase, I will cause you to increase with the increase of God and the fullness of all that I've promised you. God bless you. For those of you that are watching this video and you haven't taken the Prophetic Office course, if you're interested in knowing more, go to propheticnow.com to learn more about the Prophetic School sponsored by Father's Heart Ministry. God bless you.